So today we're going to make a pendant that looks like a heart but with beads on it. So what you're going to do is cut a piece of wire. I use a 20 gauge wire. It's artistic copper wire so it doesn't tarnish. 8 inches long. And then the idea for this came uh, one day my daughter was playing with a piece of wire and she just kind of bent it in half like that. She went like that and kind of bent it around and she said, look mom, a heart. And I thought that was brilliant, so I've been using that idea. And what I would do is just get something round to make it a little more perfect. Just a little round form. This is a tool. You could use a marker. You can use a glue stick, whatever you want. So there's the heart shape. And then you're going to get your beads. And then I like mixing small with big beads. So we're going to use like two little ones, one big one. And this is for... Uh, this is for uh, one side. We're going to do one side at a time. This bead's a little bit big, so you have to kind of push it around. So we're going to go around like that. And you can make it as big as you want. I think I'll try to put about four big beads on. We'll see how it looks. So we've got, these are crystal beads with the little uh, seed beads. And it was actually an old necklace that uh, my friend took apart, so you can do that too, or you can find the beads at the dollar store or Walmart. So once you've got your one side done, I think that's enough beads. I could do it bigger if I wanted. So then I'm going to bend it so the beads don't come off. We'll give it a little bend like that, and then we're going to do the other side. So we're going to beat it up on the other side. And then if you find your bead is a little too big and it doesn't go around the curve, just uncurl it a little bit. And then you can curl it back again after. This kind of wire is pretty forgiving because it's copper and it's pretty soft. But you could actually use any kind of wire you like. There's the dollar store, they have steel wire, they have copper, brass wire. It doesn't, the wire doesn't really show so much once it's all beaded. So it's not really that important. So we're going to get our last few beads on. And you could also do it completely with the seed beads. That would be nice too. You can make it bigger as an ornament or you can make it smaller for earrings. So now we're going to actually slip that one end through the other end there. And then just bend it back. Okay, And then it's just a matter of kind of clipping the ends just a little bit. So we clip one side and then this end we're going to bring it around so it completely closes and then we're going to clip that end. Okay, And then for the finishing touches you can kind of just squeeze it so it holds its shape a little bit. So that's the pendant like that. And then if you do want to put it on a cord you can either put a little jump ring in the middle or you can actually just string a little black cord through it and even wear it like that. So that's it. How did you make a beaded heart?